Hello and welcome back to another rousing edition of Grudge Match, the show where characters clash to find out who takes home the gold. In this episode, we're looking at two charter members of their universe's premier super teams. From DC and the Justice League, it's the Martian Manhunter, and from Marvel and the Avengers, it's Vision. On first glance, these two characters seem very different, one being an alien and one being an android, but they actually have quite a lot in common. In addition to having many of the same powers, they both are the only ones of their kind, Vision being a one-of-a-kind android, not quite like any other android in the Marvel Universe, and the Martian Manhunter being the last surviving green Martian of his kind. They're both the calculating analytical members on their team, both having a superhuman intelligence and almost computer-like brain. They both tend to act emotionless, but they both do actually have quite strong emotional capabilities. And both are plagued by the deaths of their children. Taking a look at the Martian Manhunter first, John Jones, the last surviving green Martian of the Martian race, debuted in DC Comics in 1955. Now his story has been retconned throughout the years, but as it stands now, he was displaced in both time and space by an experiment by Earth scientists that brought him forward in time thousands of years and brought him from Mars to Earth. Upon realizing that his entire civilization, the Martian civilization, in the thousands of years since he came to the future, has been destroyed, he realizes that he is the last surviving member of his entire race. And he adopts Earth as his adopted home and joins the Justice League to put his superhuman powers to work protecting his new friends and adopted home. Vision from Marvel Comics debuted in 1968 as a android that was created by the villain Ultron as a way to infiltrate and ultimately destroy the Avengers. But he decided, as his AI grew and he became self-aware, to reject Ultron's programming and, in fact, joined the Avengers and became one of their most stalwart members. Now, as said, they both possess a wide array of similar abilities. Abilities that they have in common include density control. Both can become intangible and move through objects or become super dense and highly durable in that way. Both can become invisible. Both have multiple ways of visual scanning, scanning ultraviolet spectrums and scanning for various other types of visual spectrums. Both have the ability to fly, both have the ability to cast illusions, Martian Manhunter through psychic illusions, and vision because he has holographic control. Both possess various types of energy assault. Martian Manhunter can fire blasts of energy out of his eyes, as can vision, as well as also from the jewel that adorns his forehead. Both have highly advanced intellects and superhuman senses and both possess a high degree of superhuman durability. So all of those abilities tend to be relatively the same between them. But they both also possess a couple extra abilities that the other does not that could prove to be game changers if they were to ever fight. The Martian Manhunter does have the ability to shapeshift, which would not do well in terms of being able to fool vision in terms of changing into other people and trying to blend into the environment because of vision's multiple ability to scan the environment in multiple visual spectrums he'd always be able to tell the molecular composition of an object and know that it was a living creature martian hiding among the people but he could use his shape-shifting for combat purposes in changing into this or that other types of creatures in order to fight Vision. Also, the Martian Manhunter possesses a greater degree of superhuman strength than the Vision does. Martian Manhunter's strength is regarded as being on par with Superman or Wonder Woman's. Vision has a very high degree of superhuman strength and tops out around 90 tons, which is very good superhuman strength, but not near on the Superman level scale. But Martian Manhunter's most prominent ability that he uses the most often and to the greatest effect 
is his ability to psychically manipulate and psychically attack his enemies. He is a world-renowned psychic, and mental powers are completely off the scale for Martian Manhunter. The problem with that in this fight is that the Vision is an android. He doesn't have a biological brain the way any other living beings do, so the Martian Manhunter's ability to psychic attack might not prove to be effective against a mechanical adversary like the Vision. For the Vision, however, something he has in his corner is his ability to absorb solar radiation and then use that against his opponent. He's very noticeable for using his what's known as his solar heat beam. Now he can fire this either out of his eyes or out of the jewel on his forehead, and this is especially problematic for the Martian Manhunter because the Martian Manhunter's primary weakness is a vulnerability to fire. So, since the Vision's solar heat beam is known to burn hotter than 30,000 degrees Fahrenheit, that would be a significant problem for the Martian Manhunter to overcome in a fight. So the question is, would that be a game changer if these two were to ever throw down? So having examined the backstories and the powers of these two characters, it's time to determine a winner. That winner's going to be... The Martian Manhunter. While the Vision does have the solar heat beam on his side, and that would play into the Martian Manhunter's vulnerability to fire, it turns out that the Vision actually is vulnerable to psychic attack. In the past, various psychics in the Marvel Universe have been able to affect the Vision despite having a mechanical brain. His synthetic brain is enough like a human's that it is capable of being manipulated from a psychic standpoint. He's also been able to be affected by mind-altering hallucinogens a time or two as well. So, whereas the Vision has Martian Manhunter's weakness in his heat beam, Martian Manhunter does have the ability to use his very prominent psychic abilities to attack and affect the Vision. And seeing as a Martian Manhunter can use that ability from a comparable distance, whereas the Vision would need the Martian Manhunter to be right in his face in order to use his solar heat beam, that gives Martian Manhunter the edge. And when you throw in his vastly enhanced strength, the scales become tipped even further in Martian Manhunter's favor. So Martian Manhunter takes home the gold in this edition of Grudge Match. Let me know down below what you think of the outcome of this fight and any suggestions for upcoming matches. And I'll see you next time on the next edition of Grudge Match.